The Chicago White Sox hosting the Texas Rangers, and the Rangers are plus 105 on the money line. The White Sox are minus 105. The over-under is nine runs. The Rangers getting a run and a half are minus 175, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The White Sox laying a run and a half are plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. Now, Otto did not pitch against the White Sox either last year or this year, and Martin is a rookie, so this is his first time pitching against the Rangers. The Rangers are on a one-game losing streak overall. The White Sox are on a two-game losing streak overall, so someone's losing streak is going to end. Head-to-head, the White Sox are on a one-game winning streak against the Rangers. The White Sox are 8-2 and two in their past 10 meetings against the Rangers. The team getting or laying runs are 5-5. Five and five. The home team is 7-3 and three in their past 10 meetings. The under is 6-4, and four, and the under 9 specifically is 6-3-1, and one, meaning 6 games went under 9, 3 games went over, and 1 game hit 9 exactly. I'm going to take Chicago with the money line, Texas with the runs, and I know looking at both of these pitchers' ERAs, you'd want to scream going over, but I'm going to go under because that's what most of these games have trended to do. And there isn't a lot of data on Martin. He probably just got hit decently in one of his outings. Let's see if the numbers are right. Let's see if the numbers are wrong.